Welcome again, viewers, to my friend, the Holy Spirit. This is Gift to the Wadi Love. We continue with our series that now David has been anointed as king instead of Saul. We're going to skip a little bit and go to Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 17. I want to you to see about spiritual legality and physical legality. Now, we understand that physically Saul is king, but in the spirit, David is actually the real king. Look at um, chapter 17 from verse 1. The Philistines now mustered their army for battle and camped between Sarko and Judah and Azekah at Ephes Damim. And Saul countered by gathering his Israelite troops near the valley of Elah. So the Philistines and Israel faced each other as they faced each other on opposite hills with the valley between them. Then Goliath, a Philistine champion from Gath, came out of the Philistine ranks to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall. He wore a bronze helmet and his bronze coat of mail weighed 125 pounds. He also wore bronze leg armor and he carried a bronze javelin on his shoulder. The shaft of his spear was as heavy and thick as a weaver's beam, tipped with an iron spearhead that weighed 15 pounds. His armor bearer walked ahead of him, carrying a shield. Goliath stood and shouted a taunt across the Israelites. Why are you all coming out to fight? Why are you all coming out to fight, he called. I'm the Philistine champion, but you're only the servants of Saul. Choose one man to come down here and fight me. If he kills me, then we will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you will be our slaves. I defy the armies of Israel today. Send me a man who will fight me. When Saul and the Israelites heard this, they were terrified and deeply shaken. Why were they afraid? Why were they deeply shaken? There is no way God was with them because their king, Saul, disobeyed God. Their king had been rejected by God. So God was not going to fight their enemies through that king. He was not going to give him victory anymore. He was not with him anymore. So where instead of the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, they embraced the spirit of fear. And so they were afraid. The more that the Philistine Goliath uh, taunted them, the more they were afraid. Look at this. Verse 12. Now David was the son of a man named Jesse, an Ephrathite from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. Jesse was an old man at the time, and he had eight sons. Jesse's three oldest sons, Eliab, Abinadab, and Shimea, had already joined Saul's army to fight the Philistines. David was the youngest son. David's three oldest brothers stayed with Saul's army, but David went back and forth so he could help his father with the ship in Bethlehem. Forty days every morning and evening, the Philistine champions strutted in front of the Israelite army. One day, Jesse said to David, Take this basket of roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread and carry them quickly to your brothers. Give them these ten cuts of cheese to the and give these ten cuts of cheese to the captain. See how your brothers are getting along and bring back a report on how they are doing. David's brothers were with Saul and the Israelite army at the valley of Elah fighting against the Philistines. Were they really fighting or they were afraid? So David left the sheep with another shepherd and set out early the next morning with the gifts. See, David did not just leave his sheep without somebody else attending. That is when you understand who is a good shepherd. A good shepherd takes care of his sheep. He just doesn't decide, oh, I'll go let my father figure it out. No. So David left the sheep with another shepherd and set out early the next morning with the gifts as Jesse had directed him. He arrived at the camp just as the Israelite army was leaving for the battlefield with shouts and battle cries. Soon, the Israelites and Philistine forces stood facing each other, army against army. David left his things with the keeper of the supplies and hurried out to the ranks to greet his brothers. As he was talking to them, Goliath, the Philistine champion from Gath, came out from the Philistine ranks. Then David heard him shout his usual taunt to the army of Israel. Wow. 40 days. 
40 days being in the battlefield, threatened, taunted by the enemy, and this is a big enemy. Nine feet tall is not an, an ordinary person. This is a giant that is taunting the Israelites. Join me as we see what happens next. Now that David is here and he sees and he hears, let's see what happens after this. God bless you.